today. Steve Morgan, Fishing Monthly Magazines. Uh, I've got Simon Bajaya with me, who is one of the technical guys down in Melbourne, but they've shipped you up to the Gold Coast to go for a ride in this nine metre or 9,000 Pioneer Powercat. It was one of the boats that we saw at Mercury's Dealer Conference, and Simon, it's got some pretty cool kit on it, hasn't it? It has, mate. Tell us about the uh, the twin 350 V10s on the back of this boat and uh, some of the special features like the electric steering on them. Yeah, so this uh, pair of 350s fitted with our electric steer. Um, so it has no power steering pumps that we have to worry about mounting in the boat. Um, off the back of that, we have joystick, yep. which is another cool feature for docking. And you need the two outboards, of course, for joystick. Absolutely. Um, and the other feature is with adding a GPS and a heading sensor, we just get autopilot. So there's no need for an aftermarket autopilot solution. So, and you were telling me before that the autopilot is actually built in to the brains of the outboard. Yeah, that's correct. The module to drive the autopilot is part of the engine's ECU. With the twin engines and the joystick piloting, uh, I've always heard about the feature Skyhook. It's like a, like a spot lock for your big boat. Uh, it works on this as well? This, it does, yeah, absolutely. Um, when I went to Lake X last year, uh, we noticed that this V10 platform is ridiculously smooth and quiet. There are two outboards here for a combined total of 700 horsepower. Man, they are quiet, aren't they? They are, mate. They're extremely quiet. Um, we've got a full kit of electronics on this boat. I noticed in the dash here, we've got the vessel view. We've got a pair of big Simrads. Alternators on these things are serious size to make sure this stuff never runs out of power. Yeah, so 150 amps each alternator, um, which is uh, sort of up around where the V12 alternator was as well. So yep. it's a good amount of amperage to cover all electronic needs. Um, tell me, how does it feel cruising around the Gold Coast, cracking day like today, very well appointed uh, twin hull boat here by, uh, by the cat guys. Um, life doesn't get much better, does it? No, it doesn't, mate. It's sensational. Well, you know, my job here at Fishing Monthly is to put all of these guys' claims to the test. So let's take it for a run out in the broad water, maybe sneak outside a little bit, and we're going to come back to you for some of the performance stats on the V10s. So there you go, that's the first time I've been in a big you know, power cat boat of this size. Um, abundant horsepower on the back, 700 horsepower when you add those two V10 5.7 litre Mercuries together. That's 350 horsepower a piece. Um, and as expected, this thing is fast. At wide open throttle, 6100 RPM, it goes 98 kilometres an hour but it's quite scary, the fuel usage when the hammers are all the way down. Uh, 0.4 of a kilometre or 400 metres per litre burn. But uh, very surprisingly, a nine metre or 30 foot plus boat, um, collectively, when you're running at 3000 RPM and traveling 47 kilometres an hour, 0.99 or let's just call it one kilometre per litre burn. So I was really surprised at how economical these motors are at cruising speeds. Um, for me, this boat is a great combination of family boat and fishing boat, uh, especially because it's so easy to get in and out of the back with that, uh, with the little uh, little centrally mounted duckboard there. It's got framing around it so that it's nice and safe. But the whole boat, nearly all of this boat's 30 foot plus length is accessible. The floors are covered with that epoxy sort of marble looking flooring. Works really well, it is really anti-slip. Uh, but the gunnels are high, The it's wide enough around the console to both get around and to fish. And that's the other side of this boat is the fishing side of things. 
Down the back, this is set up as a family boat. The seating at the back here is really, really comfortable. Um, there's a sink, there's a fridge, there's all the things you need for entertaining and relaxing down the back. And it's handy that this is where all the seating is because this is the most comfortable place to ride in this boat when you're traveling. And because these Mercuries are so silent, the amenity is really cool. Um, but when it comes to fishing, it's pretty open. Like the front, it's actually got a small raised front deck there. If you're casting at Pelagics, plenty of space to do that. If you're bottom bouncing, you have a lot of space to put two or three guys down the side. There's plenty of rod holders there and plenty of space to get uh, into the action. So family boats are often a compromise and sure, this is a compromise, but you do get a lot of both sides of that equation. At the helm, this boat is really, really simple. Uh, it's got those two big multi-function displays where you can control the autopilot, the navigation, all of the Mercury functions and all of the sea zone digital switching that this boat has. Um, don't like a cluttered console really, but there's enough room. There are two side-by-side -side seats. It's got that big hard T-top there. There's plenty of shade, plenty of breeze. Um, if it's a rough sea, the two of you can get in behind there and there is plenty of room. Um, speaking of, uh, of neat setup, check a look at the cutaways here. Lift up that front seat and underneath it is a work of art. There is uh, everything is accessible, everything you can see where it is. Um, you can see how much attention that the guys of Brisbane Marine have put into making this boat just spot on when you have a look at the workmanship underneath there. Fantastic. Um, let's get on to the Mercuries. Um, these are the first boats that I've been in that have had the Mercury's electric steering and man it is quiet. You can hear a little bit of a whir as it goes but, uh, but for, the, uh, for the ease of fit up, for the speed of that joystick piloting, for the functionality of the, uh, of the autopilot, they work really, really well. Let's have a look at the joystick piloting. We've done joystick piloting, you know, it's been around for I think 17 years now that Brunswick have been doing it. Um, it's so easy a child can use it. Of course, joystick piloting in Mercury's is only available for two outboard setups and, and greater, two, three, four outboards. Um, but being able to just uh, spin the boat and you can see the cutaways here, that boat spitting on its own length uh, makes it very easy to dock and literally a child can do it. Um, let's have a look at Skyhook. It's a function of the, jo the joystick piloting is that you can say, keep the boat here. It's like the, uh, the big boys boat version of Spotlock. Um, again, you can see with the drone cutaways here that, uh, that uh, Skyhook working, the motors work in tandem, all looked after by the, uh, the brain and the outboard to keep you in that one spot. That Skyhook dash uh, and all the autopilot functions are also accessible through the SIMRADs. There is so much connectivity between those Navico units and this outboard. Uh, autopilot, for instance, it's literally one push of the button and you are keeping a heading. You can adjust the heading in one or 10 degree increments. Um, again, very easy. If you're not an autopilot person, you don't have to be scared of it. Um, and of course, the most subjective thing is these are quiet. They're not running now, but they could be, and you wouldn't hear them. They're, uh, they're a talky, quiet, very uh, low on the noise, vibration and harshness. I think Mercury have done their best yet when it comes to the platform, when it comes to these V10s. Um, like all boat tests, everyone wants to hear the price. It's down here. If you've, got to, uh, if you've only got a small home, you probably have to sell it to buy it. But hey, this is a great looking boat. Um, no expense has been spared and uh, you can talk to the guys at Brisbane Marine for more information.